Imagine being at the center of one of the most secretive and technologically advanced assassination missions in history. This is the story of Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, the mastermind behind Iran's covert nuclear weapons program, who was killed in 2020 in a mission that blurred the lines between science, technology, and geopolitics. Fakhrizadeh wasn't just a scientist. He was the architect of Project Ahmad, Iran's effort to develop nuclear warheads and miniaturize them for long-range missiles. His knowledge and leadership made him a key figure, earning him the nickname, the father of Iran's nuclear bomb. Intelligence from Mossad's 2018 raid on Iran's nuclear archives revealed his central role, deepening international concerns over Iran's nuclear intentions. Iran's nuclear program has long been controversial. While it claims peaceful goals like energy production and medical applications, evidence suggests weaponization efforts. Central to this is uranium enrichment, a process that increases the proportion of the isotope uranium-235. While nuclear power requires enrichment levels of 3-5%, weapons-grade uranium exceeds 90%. Recent reports indicate Iran is enriching uranium far beyond peaceful thresholds. Mossad had targeted Iranian nuclear scientists for over a decade to delay these ambitions. Using methods like car bombs and cyber attacks, they systematically disrupted Iran's progress. The 2010 Stuxnet cyber attack, for example, was a sophisticated worm that sabotaged centrifuges at Iran's Natanz facility, setting their enrichment efforts back years. But Fakhrizadeh was different. His security detail was impenetrable and his importance unmatched. Mossad's plan had to be innovative. Enter the robotic machine gun, an AI-driven system that allowed remote precision without endangering operatives. The weapon, smuggled into Iran in parts and assembled near the operation site, was mounted on a pickup truck equipped with cameras, sensors, and advanced targeting algorithms. Controlled from over 1,000 miles away, it represented the cutting edge of AI in warfare. On November 27, 2020, Fakhrizadeh's convoy was ambushed en route to Absard. As his vehicle approached, the AI-enhanced gun fired a burst of precision shots, eliminating him without harming his wife or nearby civilians. The weapon then self-destructed, leaving almost no trace. Iranian officials initially dismissed claims of a robotic assassin, but evidence later confirmed this groundbreaking technology had been used. This operation showcased the growing role of AI and robotics in military strategy. Using satellite communications and real-time adjustments, the system was capable of identifying and targeting specific individuals with unparalleled accuracy. This wasn't just an assassination. It was a field test for AI-controlled weaponry, demonstrating the potential and the risks of autonomous systems in warfare. However, these missions raise ethical questions. Are extrajudicial killings justified as preemptive defense, or do they destabilize already fragile regions? Fakhrizadeh's death intensified global concerns, complicating efforts to revive the Iran nuclear deal, JCPOA. Critics argue such actions undermine diplomacy, while proponents see them as necessary to prevent nuclear escalation. What do you think? Do operations like this safeguard global security or create more instability? Fakhri Zadeh's story isn't just about one man. It's about the intersection of science, technology, and geopolitics, and the lengths nations will go to protect their interests. Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more explorations of science, technology, and the forces shaping our world.